No, I I don't know why, but this morning I came up about it. Um, okay, so earlier you said you want to focus on. I want to get a piece of evidence for the second standard that is the engineering standard, design, build, and refine a device. Okay. Do you want me to share this with you real quick so you can easily get to it? Is this the proficiency scale? Well, it's unit one standards. I thought I linked it on here, but. Pro well, who knows? So like a look at it, they designed, they built, and tested. So we're looking at engineering standard. Yeah. What, like, because I want to try it, yeah, because I feel like, I feel like I probably could give them a score for this standard, but I want to give them another, one more opportunity before okay. I put it, put one in there, thinking about this. And then, I, I don't know if I have given them a, the chance, I want to talk to you about, uh, is this chance to be at a level three? Have they already gotten that for this? I don't, you know. I'm not sure. Okay, well, they were definitely refining their device today. Yeah. And they were, I feel like they were evaluating its performance along the way. Mm -hmm. They were using those test results to try and think about, well, what could we do? Um, then I feel like this other, identify the types and the energy losses, that comes with, that comes in a systems model that we do. So, um, which they have not done for the mouse trap. Not for the mouse trap yet, because I wanted that gravity one, so then I could give them back as feedback. So, and I want to talk about that before they go in and do that new systems model. Right. Um, my only thing, like when I think about this as describe scientific rationale for choices of material and structures of device, I'm like, how do they even do that? Like, what does that look like? What does that sound like? I'm not even sure. So, well, so for conversations today, what right. they were noticing, they had their cars with their cardboard, and it was too light. Okay. So when they would let the uh, it go, it flipped go, over. It just would flip okay. straight up in the air. And or like, they, we need to add some mass to that, bro. They've hmm. been talking about friction, right? Too. Yes. Or gotta talk. Um, I know there's things they've talked about, but like, how do I put that on a piece of paper to prompt them okay. to, as a piece of, that I can give it as a piece of evidence is my thing. So a question for you just real quick, Corbin, did you see his design with like, yes, however, like 10 wheels? Mm -hmm. Did you see his launch? Mm -mm. He was just snapping it. Hmm. Oh, and it wasn't wound around an axle? No. And it was, he had two mouse traps mm -hmm. set up in almost like f fish wire yeah he they took my my really my wire that doesn't stretch that I use for AP and I didn't know that was sitting out because I was using that in AP the day before mm -hmm. so he, they were not supposed to use that but he, he grabbed it because yeah it was there yeah and so they set it down mm -hmm. to go and he just pulled up on it and let go in the it just and it caused it to move, but not very far. But not go. Right. I might have it on video. I can't remember if I recorded that one or not. Anyway, so I don't know. So what made me think of that is I don't know that they realize the science behind why they're using this mousetrap. Mm -hmm. Which I think making a system model will help them get there. Will help them get there and reflect mm -hmm. back on okay, now if I were going to go refine again, what are some of the decisions I need to make? Yeah. What was the first re the first reflection sheet? The first reflection sheet was just that d not much. Like that's a, p this is, this is like, I think well, I needed to get in the nitty gritty of what does a reflection okay. sheet for this look like? I don't know. 
like to get as a piece of evidence. So, um, so you're wanting this reflection to be the piece of evidence. Yeah. So it sounds like we need to have their system. Sis yeah, I feel system, like system model. System, system model, energy. So that energy transfer model, um, a pie chart. Well, that is their model, right? The energy transfer. Yeah. Pi. And then the pie chart. And then their mathematical. Yeah. I feel like it's just we need to add on to that, I'll add on to what they've been doing already, almost. I feel like the written description might be different. I'm not sure. Yeah. So does this become more of a, um, there might be some guiding questions there that they're right. thinking about their refinement and why they would refine it the way they would. Right. So like I think if they have to evaluate the performance of the device. So with all those conversations that you heard out there, how, what prompt do I put on there to get them to write about that? Uh, what were you noticing as a, a hold up? Like a, a challenge, a, uh, yeah, a constraint. constraint. I don't know if they know the word constraint. So I'm thinking about um, Wyatt's group. And their strain was rewinding around it and stopping it. What did and you Aiden's. notice in the, in the design of your mouse trap car that didn't, that impacted the performance? Its performance in a negative way or in a positive way? Yeah, you do both. That that impacted its Because then like Brooklyn's group, they originally couldn't get it to go very far because it kept turning left. Right. So as soon as they modified right. and had it square, right. now it was going straight. Like how do, like, yeah, so like how, what's the question I put in front of them to get them to write about that? Or questions. And, and which is the same question for everybody. So what, yeah. What did you notice? What modifications needed to be made? What, what modifications needed to be made as you were testing? As you were testing. So thank you. Testing back your through. Car in order to get it to move more, get it right, and so to transfer more energy to. That's the part that we need to make sure that we're getting them to focus in on because they're not thinking about it as a scientific yeah, task right, right now. Drive some more energy from the mouse trap to the motion of the car. How do you want this system model to look? Is the car still there? And then they're getting trap is providing a lot of potential? Or is the trap the system? I don't know. Because we want them to realize that this is kinetic, right? Yeah, I think, yes, the car. But the car itself, I could see kids trying to define the string, the rod. Right, especially if you put trap outside of it. So I'm so I'm wondering if it's a little bit more leading with the system model, like give them the car and, and the mousetrap on the outside of the surrounding, and then they pick other pieces of the surrounding. Because I think they need to pick the carpet, right? They need to pick whatever it was traveling on. Um, well, so here's this is the reason I asked this question. Because what a lot of kids were noticing is their string ended up stopping their wheels. And the car would actually just dead stop. Because the string was either attached to the axle right. and stopping it. Stopping it. Or the Go. string would get rewound the opposite direction and stop it. Right. So is that to me, that's a force. Like, 
I'm, I'm like trying to think like how, how would they talk about that in a way that's more scientific, you know? So why didn't they get there? There were a lot of different reasons. Right. Some were turning left and running into the wall. Like, and that was weird too. They were all turning left. If they were, <laughs> if they weren't straight, they were going left. Interesting. But I wonder if they're all right-handed and if they're putting um, the string around the yeah right wheel. Mm -hmm. So Emma noticed. She's like, we need to get rid of this piece of cardboard that's here in the middle mm -hmm. because we want to be able to wrap our string in the center. Good. So these are the things that do we need to just have like a brainstorm shout out? Yes. This is what what we know. This is what our problem was. Yeah. Well our car didn't go anywhere. It just jumped straight up in the air. Right. Yeah I feel like we need to have a discussion about these. And, and look at them. Like, yes. This is what my car looks like, and this is what it did. Right. Yes. I totally agree. We need to do that. But I don't know how much time we spend on them doing any sort of modification at this point no, to try I, and make it. I say none, actually. I feel like, no, you have to generate ideas right here because we're going to come back to that car later on. And then you could, could make modifications, but I don't know. Oh, actually, here's another idea, is I am wondering at, like, how could we change the surroundings to get better performance? Like, is that a question I ask? So I'm, so I'm kind of wondering, do, do I do this system model and have them do this? But I was also thinking, wait a minute, what if we go do it on the tile floor and they have to make a system models and a math model and compare that? and compare the difference between those surroundings but and how I, those impact where, the performance. Where on know. there does it tell them their better performance? Right. By doing that. Yeah, because you're right. It looks the same. Right. Uh, right. So how like is it is so my question is, is there better performance? And then how are how does that get captured within your model? To me, there would be less energy leaving the system, leaving the car, right? So if it's on the carpet, yeah. So they would have to communicate with their system model the difference between the two. Right. Like that was a th like this was an idea in my mind. Like, and I'm like, is that? But we did not have a lot of success with motion with cars, so I don't know, I know. if that even means anything yet. Right. What if we wait and do that when they do their motor? Yeah, motor? totally true. Yeah. Or we do that, they still have their other car intact. Right. We could do it down the ramp. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to see a big difference. Yeah, I don't know. I think it would be interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if going out on the concrete would be rough enough. Mm -hmm. Or do you still have that carpet? I do have that carpet back there. So I think I think that there would be. I think we use that. Okay. And that would be actually a good thing, like going into Newton's second law with the frictional force. And how easy that would be to set them up side by side. So they get data points right away. Oh, yeah. So you do it on the flat carpet, mm -hmm. and then you do it on the mm -hmm. extra. Or the tile on the classroom, tile on the yeah. carpet. I think we should do tile on carpet. So, and then, like, is, mm, is, that a, is that a level four in some aspect? I don't know, of comparing. Level four for what standard? The um, the the energy transfer one maybe. If you had them compare the two systems, and say what modification would you make to your car? One that encompasses both. Why? So then you could look at both standards at the same time. Mm-hmm. 
I think that opens it up enough that we could get level four-ish questions. Right. Okay, what was that that you just said? Um, Rewind. <laughs> um, so how, like the performance, like talking about the performance. So the, the, the carpet versus the. Right. Yeah, so going back into your models. so going back into your engineering design, your design, and thinking about the energy transfer with this new scenario with the new carpet. Okay. So what does that accomplish? It shows that. So if they were to do the the carpet and tile. Mm -hmm with the ramp. Mm -hmm. okay. So they draw the two separate and what we're looking for here is a difference in arrow. Mm -hmm. Either more arrows or that's what we decided on, right? Is the number or the length or the size? Yeah. I can't remember. It's in the notes. But really, to me, if they did it either way, and I could understand it, even though the class decided the other way, to me, that's acceptable, I guess. Because uh, I forget, one class did one thing, one class did the other. I should have probably wrote those down. So is then them the prompt? I feel like this is almost before going into Newton's law. Because they have they they have kind of like a predict so they do that but they also do a prediction of what would they do what would they need to do to their car to to lessen that because then that then centers around to me it's something with the tires right and we can talk about surface we can then go in and explore what is the frictional force differences between different surfaces rubbing against each other. Okay. Back up a second. Okay. I lost what I was going to say. I was going to ask a question about where they were at. Wise. I don't remember what it was. So, I'm thinking, so like if I'm thinking, I feel like we need to have this conversation tomorrow, and then I need to give them back their other, their gravity one. So, well, that's actually like, what, what makes sense? Do, do we have this conversation in? I don't know what it was. Okay. When do they go back to their mathematical computation model? Right. So, right. So that. So, but that's a piece I feel like I need to talk, like need to think through right now. So, like, so I'm he, so I'm thinking we have to have a conversation. We need to have a reflection. Um. And does that ref and the reflection to me brings in the system surrounding piece that, right? But I feel like I can't have them do this reflection and make their new system until I hand back the other one as feedback, so they can look at the, their other one, the gravity one. Yeah. Do they need to make modifications to that? Yeah, like that needs to be handed back, and we need to have a discussion. Oh, that's about what that. you're saying. Yeah. Like, when does that happen? Because I feel like right now we need to have this discussion, and they could get a reflection, and with these questions then we could go back and look at their system model that they already turned in and that like not collect this yet or and then evaluate our last one and then do you need to make any but that didn't seem to work this last time mm -hmm. so okay, it seems kind of clunky yeah and so um well is it possible to go through the so the gravity one? Mm -hmm. We noticed that they were pretty good with the pie charts. Yeah, they were great with the pie charts. So take the pie chart idea. You're really good with this. 
we need this to match with our mathematical model, we do this right away. Right. This could be a, the first thing. Okay. So that they have that. So now, once your mathematical model matches, now that mathematical model needs to be represented in your system model. Right. Double check yours. And this Why is do you have to take it back from them? I wasn't going to take it back from So they get to keep it? Yeah, it would be it would be in their folder. Okay. Like this, yeah, like, go do that. Don't, I don't want you to hand it in to me yet, but I want to, wanted to hand back their other one. Yeah. You know? So okay. if they get the, so if this is the conversation, so let's check your system model. Is that represented with your, your model here? Does that say the same thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you have thermal energy here, you have to have it here. If and it's then, not right. there, right. then That's you need to fix it. Right. So now they have they do that. Right. Tomorrow, first thing. Then can we go into the conversation? Okay, yesterday we looked at our cars. Right. Thinking about your cars. Because I, well, another thing that I want to make sure that they're understanding here is they put their gravitational potential here. There were not very many that were putting it down here, too. No, there was only So they were two. getting rid of that yeah. idea. I don't want them to all of a sudden jump back into doing that. So when they come out here, they can't say it's gravity's right. fault for it um, moving or not moving. Not moving. except for the ones that went straight up. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just then thinking, so if they have, we get them there. For, so first thing, here's your one from yesterday, put your, or last week, put your score real quick, and now we're gonna talk about pie charts. Let's look at your yeah, pie charts. So they, they've gone back to their, right. their sheet, right? right? Their tracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, where they're putting their scores. Yes. Yes. So do they have to fill in a thing of why did we do this? Why did we learn this and how does that help us figure anything out? So we've already kind of done that with that one. I feel like after the next one, not, I'm not sure. Because we, we've we've put on that paper that tracker the systems model thing and they talked okay. about it already. That was with Okay, so we've got, to, we've got to do this, yeah. and then we also need to have the discussion, show me your car, what did it do, how did it perform. Could we set it up like what's one positive thing that happened with your car, what's one negative thing? Mm -hmm. And I feel like the focus should be on performance. Of so like positive and negative for converting elastic potential, like I feel like my prompt should be yes. from elastic potential energy into kinetic energy. That needs to be my language. Yeah. I did not see Scott test his car today. Me either. Um, uh, him and, is that the only group that didn't test? He seemed, yeah. Was Carson here today? Carson wasn't here, he was gone for track. And so that Dylan was working on it, and Dylan had to fix some of the things Carson did yesterday because, <laughs> so Dylan was, Dylan was working on it really hard today, but he had to take some of it apart and put it back together. Okay. So do we get them like to share this out? Like this is, Okay, you're going to go sit by your partner on your whiteboard, make the little T-chart right here. Um, and we're going to discuss the performance of your car converting electrical potential energy to kinetic energy. What were some of the positives? What were some of the challenges? And what led to those? That's the part that they need to focus in on, right? Um, what about your design led to those? Yeah. Because we only have one group make it five meters. Yeah. But they were not able to consistently repeat that. Right. 
I feel like that's that, that's going to be all of tomorrow. Because this, if they just say it didn't go far enough, why do you think? Yeah. What? What limited that? So what do you have there? What? About your design limited the performance. I, I don't know. Maybe that lead was okay because the positive. That one led to, to the performance. The, your design? What about Because you? now if we have a kid that says, we wrapped our string tighter. So that was positive. Mm -hmm. Because the first time we tried it, it was too loose. So then when we wrapped it tighter. Great. So so you're, you noticed that being able to tighten the string improved your performance of converting that, elect, that elastic potential energy into kinetic energy. Yes. you got to stop me and make sure I say that tomorrow. Yeah. I feel like. Okay. And then the other thing, like on the negative side, so our car it snapped I, straight up. All of our elastic potential energy converted to straight up motion, why do you think that? Because our car wasn't massive enough. So the ones that were just built on a cardboard without the big wheels. Okay. Do we have them take their car and line up by distance again? Or I feel like, are we going to ask them to share out in the class so each pair is going to share anyway? So they can hold it, they, I feel like they can hold it up and say ours went this far. Okay. And here's what we said was positive, negative, and why. I've, I'm not sure if it needs to be linear for the kids to see that okay. because I don't know there's any real pattern. The length of the arm. The bigger wheels, the tiny wheels were not working okay. very well. So you, so, so I wasn't out there. So you noticed yeah. some patterns <laughs> yeah. that I didn't notice. Okay. So maybe, maybe at the end, after they've shared them, we can line them up. If their string was attached, it stopped it dead in its tracks, and I hope kids will call that out. But they won't, you know, because that we want them to be great. Strings attached, wheels. What else did you notice? Oh, the lever arm? The mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like this is going to be tomorrow. Yeah, I, that'll take the whole time. So uh, that's my question here is do we just have the conversation and then do this Thursday? Mm -hmm. Oh, have the conversation and do, then do that piece Thursday? Yeah, maybe. Or if, we, if the conversation dwindles. I can they have that. Can always, that could be your back pocket. Yeah, for the end of the end of the period. Anyway, and I'm like the end of the period. They don't really want to evaluate that or look at that. They're more fresh at the beginning. Like they get. Yeah, I think this is going to take 20 minutes. I agree. Is that all the longer classes? Yeah, you're right. It's 20 minutes. So then, yeah, either that's at the end or the next day, and then I feel like. Okay, we had that conversation. So with this, they're putting, they're getting their sheet out mm -hmm. to say, here's my score. So they're tracking that. Yeah. Is there anything else with the tracker that they need to do? Not right now. I feel like after we do, do that one for the car and maybe the mouse trap, then we go back to the tracker and have them you something about the design of the car because it's the first and second standard that's on our first one. So we filled in, not that this matters, we filled in three here so far. And so I feel like this could be the engineering process, okay. right? And reflecting on the engineering process because I feel like that then goes back to they could all, you know, what did they figure out? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that goes back to... I think that's what you need to think about. So when you're collecting this piece of evidence from the mousetrap car, 
is that this is on energy transfer. Mm -hmm. I, I want it to be both. So it's energy transfer and also a reflection of the design. design. The design. Yes, like that's what I'm hoping. So I hope that tomorrow we have a conversation, right, out loud, that we can talk, that we can prompt kids through. Then tomorrow. Seeing patterns yeah. of the elastic potential. Yeah. Yes. Of the spring. Or right. spring. Do you call it spring? Yeah, it's a potential? spring on there. Oh, yeah. You can call it spring. And then tomorrow they have to go back to their model, but also evaluate. Like, evaluate. Like, I want it to be, I feel like it, it should be both standards smushed in one piece of evidence, and it can be two scores. Okay. This is your standard one score, and here's your standard two score. So from, well, that's not this. Yeah, I, I think it's part, no, it's not that one. It's the mouse trap. This leads us to our next unit. Next, yeah. Yes, to friction, to, to, to thinking about friction. Yeah, so I feel like so that's that, after. Yeah, so that is like our linkage. Right. Okay. So what you're saying here is their, their trap. Yeah, their trap. Yeah, so this, could they also say their string? Yeah. If this was the problem and this is what's stopping it? I would say, but my question would be like, so my, as a student, I'd be like, what type of energy is that? And to me, that's work. <laughs> but they don't know that. Right. So there was that, that was applying a force that stopped it, that made right. energy leave the system. But is them It would be great to see that on their models, wouldn't it? Yeah. To think through that? Yeah. I mean, then I'm kind of like, if any kid actually, like, is is that getting up above? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, they could. But then I, if they'd be like, well, how would I? How, what energy? But they wouldn't know what energy to mm -hmm. label that. But, yeah, they could. Would they call it thermal? Maybe. Because that's what they're identifying friction as, so they think it's friction. Maybe, yeah. Or if that comes up in their, in their, in the writing, in the writing portion, that actually might lead me to better th see how they're, they're thinking about it. Because I don't know, maybe somebody <coughs> say it, it applied a force to the car, which made it stop. Who knows mm -hmm. what they might say? I mean, they're already trying to talk about forces with gravity. Right. So I'm okay, not sure. So conversation tomorrow. We're right. looking at cars. Right. Do they need to reflect on that at all? Maybe at the end, just at the end of the class period, they you, they capture their what did you notice about some of the positive things that happened? So are they are they with their partner? Are they are are they filling out a half sheet, or is it by themselves? Yeah, what, is that something that's collected or is that something that That's something keep? for them, not for me. So like they do their, te their teacher on there, but then there's like a reflection prompt after everybody has. Because the same design thing that we said, like the, what's the point of them having this conversation? Right. Why do they do that? To to evaluate other people's performance and give myself ideas for in the to future. redesign to, to redesign right so they need to have a place where they're going to write their thoughts of this is how i would redesign and why right and this is after combo yeah so like five minutes at the end Yeah, so I can have like a half sheet. I feel so like what's your key vocab again that you're using? Um, the converting of electrical, electrical, elastic potential energy into kinetic energy and talking about our, in, like, as we worked as engineers to design and, and test the performance of our car and transfer of energy. I feel like, I feel like 
talking about the system, like using the word system. So in your system, your car, you know, maybe trying to use some of that in, in when asking questions or talking mm -hmm. or yeah. phrasing. Do you think that they're realizing, I think they are, but I, I don't know if I'm assuming this of them, that they understand that the energy is coming from the spring as elastic potential. Yeah, who knows? That's a good question. Because I think it was apparent that with the ramp, they knew that's gravity. I don't know what else they would identify as giving the system energy. I don't either, other than the ones that kicked it. Or pushed it, yeah. But my, I think my question, or my prompt up there is, or Today we're going to evaluate the performance of our car on converting electrical potential energy into kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. But rewarded a little bit. It's That's elastic fine. potential. What, is it? what do I keep saying? Okay, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Know. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not there yet. I'm, well, because I'm getting into electrostatics next week in AP, so like I've already started planning. That's fine. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that's our overall goal today. To, to evaluate the performance of our car in converting electrical potential energy to kinetic energy. <laughs> okay, so then they're looking for those. So the focus is as you're hearing other people report these out, think about some patterns that you're seeing right. here. Evaluating. Elastic. Mm -hmm. I almost said <laughs> to kinetic. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make that slide after school. Okay. And then we 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 we're trying. Our goal is to look for patterns. And and talk about patterns. So then when we go back and re-engineer, we're going to reflect a little bit at the end today about what might we change. And then we're actually going to re-engineer later. Or you're going to re-engineer whether yeah they, I mean they have the opportunity to do that in the end right 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 whether they do it with the mousetrap or they do it with the little motor whatever mm -hmm. so we'll see I wonder how many of them are going to be mad that it, they don't get to redo it and try it if you would like to like if you don't have anything to, during study hall I can put in science tutor for you to work on yeah that'd be so cool I know right some of them are talking about coming up and doing that Already. So on this sheet, this half sheet, this is for their group. These were the positive things. This is why. These were the negative things. These are why. Right. They'll have a spot for reflection. Maybe just on the back, we just have, what did you notice from the groups? Oh. So it has a place for them to. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so that's tomorrow. Yep, then Thursday, you hand back their piece. Mm -hmm. Go through it. Yep. Uh, and then after you do that, do you have them do theirs for their mousetrap card? I think so, definitely. With some questions that go back into, into the second standard too, also. Yeah. I feel like the written description, like I want them to talk about energy transfer, but I really want them to talk about the design. Yes. So like, I feel like I'll have like maybe four questions. I, I don't know, is this good for the, these are the four questions you need to think about and try and talk. Or do I put them, question one, question two, question three, question four, versus these are the things you need to think about and talk about. Yeah. In, I don't a, know. in a constructive response, in a response. I feel like once I, it li once I say answer this question, it limits the con it limits the conversation that they can have. Yeah. I don't know. I feel that too, especially just space wise. So they just answer that question, right? Versus really really talking through that. Yeah. So I feel like that written description part is like four four que uh, like four questions, and in this piece in this writing that you do right here. I need you to address these four questions. What are the four? 
Yeah, I don't know. I, they, I want them to go back to, well, I feel like it needs to hit back to the, this, some of these conversations um, and modifications. Some of these things, so I want to look back at the standard. So they can use this. So maybe yeah. it should be individual so that they can have it individually. So when they get to this piece, Oh, oh, have their own. Yeah, you're right. I agree. They each have their own copy. Like, I want them to, like, want them some type of evalu like evaluation, which I think is this piece, right? They're evaluating its performance. Mm -hmm. And they were doing that all day today. Yeah, right? But and just, they were testing it. And right. they were rebuilding it. Right. Um, Making improvements. And then if they can give me some type of rationale about what they would change and why, like, I'm not sure that I'm ever going to get to this piece right here, which, okay. And I don't know about that, which, okay. Um, yeah, but I think once we get down to the very end, uh, and if we circle back to our very opening phenomenon of look at how these have changed over time, and the kids were coming up with that. Yeah. That you know, the safety, the mm -hmm. risks, well, I think the it, cost. I really liked the struggle that they felt as they were working because that, that struggle is the real struggle that scientists and engineers go through. Like, they don't get their answer right away. They don't get it the first time. They might not even get it for years. Mm -hmm. With their car, you mean? With their, as yeah, they yeah, as they were designing it, right? Like. They couldn't get it fixed right away. Yeah, that's what was great about this versus just down the ramp. Even some kids on the ramp, they couldn't get it yeah. to go, yeah. but they didn't have the opportunity to fix it right away. Right. Yeah. So I feel like I like that that feeling was felt, and and I feel like it also it that's an okay feeling. And. It's a challenge. They're able to do it. Yeah. You look at our kids that are sitting there and not engaging in. Right. I mean, right. she didn't. She had her phone out at the very, very beginning of class, and, and then, then yep. she was holding her car the rest of the time. Right. And they were working on it. Right. I'm kind of sad right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm kind of like honestly, like I'm kind of sad because I yeah. Cause I, but it's not for not. I mean, yeah, I yeah, I know. I know, but it's just, like, I love this. And this is very natural to me. And the chemistry one is not as natural to me to have conversations like this. And then I'm like, oh, I feel like this is good, and it could be improved and better. And I, Like, I know one of the things they were scared at is that the kids are going to be bored. And, like, I don't think the kids are going to be bored. Like, they were like, when are we getting back to our cars? Mm -hmm. I think they'd work on their car for another day, probably, too, yeah. before getting bored. Yeah. And is it because they're playing around with it? We have to still ground it in Into the, the reason science for why we're, we're doing, doing this. this. Yeah. And I feel like if I, after this first year, like, this would help me, like, go back and reflect on these days and how do I lead that conversation at the beginning of class and get that flow of talking you know, as we go and do yeah. Again. And so, what we're going through, you're you're putting that in a slide deck. You have that. What? You update it like each day that mm -hmm. you project something. Yep. Yep. You're not just. It, it's, it's in there. It's an ongoing. Yep. Yeah, it's on there. That's going to be important. Yeah. So that's yep. I could look back and see exactly. So, but like I really. It was, I, I feel like the kids did a really good job. Yeah. And I really appreciate that you're in there because I don't hear all those things. I hear the problems <laughs> they need, that they need help with. You know? I, I feel like yeah. my ears don't listen for some of the things that you listen for. Like I'm just not, I, haven't, I just don't hear those conversations as yeah. much. Yeah, why? That's a good question. But, well, I am I'm a multitasker too, so my brain is not always with us. 
just because I'm thinking about what am I doing next period? Yeah. Or I got I'm thinking like my I wonder if there's a way that we can free your brain space up so that you can so if I'm facilitating the discussion in the classroom and then you're allowed to just hear it. Yeah, I I don't know. And, and so here's another one of my problems too is that I have like audit like I don't learn auditorily very well. And sometimes like it's specifically in my AP physics class, if kids are trying to explain something to me, I'm like, you have to write that down and show me. I did not understand what you just told me. So I think that's just a part of me, you know, too. Is I'm just not tuned into the auditory very well. Or it like I need to see things to Seeing things helps me make sense yeah. of things. My visual cortex is strong, auditory not strong. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that I think that's a piece of it. And then I've never, but I've never focused on trying to get better at it though either, because you know, as teaching and as teaching has changed, or listen, like where we should be listening to kids more, that's changed, you know. So like my, I haven't trained myself to be good at that, mm -hmm. be good at that or whatever, or be better at it, you know, because I haven't had like was that there's been a shift mm -hmm. in, in the teaching culture, and so I just haven't had time to to shift to that too, which I think I really, I think I started dipping my toe in before I got here, but last year I felt like I've learned so much, and this year I've learned so much but just overwhelmed with all the other new things that I, I haven't been able to focus on that. But I know that it's a, I know it's a challenge for me. So when they're doing models on whiteboards, is that easier for you? Yes. Yeah. And all, like, yeah. When they talk about it in class, sometimes I miss some of the things that they say. Or I have to have them repeat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but that might be a good reason to videotape too. Yeah, the, the yeah, very markers true. Out. Very true. I don't know when you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good point. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, I'm thinking about next year. I already feel this relief off of me, and so That's I feel great. like yeah. So I feel like that seems like something to help grow. Okay. You know. So yeah. So just the personal the personal goal for yourself to capture student thinking. Yeah. To be able to to focus on getting better at, at listening and hearing student thinking. Okay. I'm gonna write that on your document <laughs> sheet. Not that you won't have ten other goals by then. Right. I know. <laughs> Oh, I thought about that thing this summer, and I'm like, do I do it now? With the transportation. Yeah, because I totally thought that would be a totally cool thing with the cars. Well, when you sent it to me, I was thinking that too. Like, oh, she doesn't know yet. No. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh. but then I'm like, well, there could be some things. You still get it for AP. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Gotta go. Thank you. Alrighty. See ya.